Terrace and I will be working uh, in Solidity and generally C++ uh, development for Ethereum. Um, this talk will be about uh, having an Emacs development environment um, for Ethereum. It will be quite a short talk. Um, so even if you are not interested in Emacs, I guess that um, it may get you interested. A, a quick question. Who, except from Felix that I know of, is actually using Emacs here? Who is using Who knows about Emacs? Okay, good, great. Can you discuss Emacs versus PI? Nope, that's not in the... <laughs> no religious word here. So, uh, goals of this presentation would be to familiarize with how to develop um, for CPP Ethereum with Emacs. Um, and also show ways that we can develop for Ethereum in Emacs, uh, like uh, develop Solidity contracts. Um, maybe make you guys like Emacs more. <laughs> that, 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 uh, that's a very uh, ambitious goal, but yeah. <laughs> so, why, why, why Emacs, right? The advantage is that uh, along uh, with Vim, it's one of the most popular editors. And um, as, um, uh, as developers are our uh, user base, we should provide easy ways for developers to develop for Ethereum using one of the most popular editors. It's uh, extremely customizable, and uh, it's a tool that suits uh, our needs since we want to be creating uh, you know, languages, IDs, uh, around um, uh, the contracts, etc. Well, disadvantage uh, is that you really need to customize uh, the editor. It, I mean, anyone that has opened the vanilla Emacs must know that it's really a difficult thing to use. Uh, and as this um, temporary computer shows, um, it's a memory hog. Um, Emacs, for some people, may mean eight megabytes and constantly swapping, uh, or Emacs makes a computer slow, something that shows that uh, it actually consumes a lot of memory. Uh, just for your reference, it actually, uh, the original th um, uh, abbreviation was editor macros. So, um, how do you set up a nice environment in Emacs then, if not using the vanilla editor? There are many different uh, environments that you can use. Um, I would go with uh, using um, a package manager called LGET. Um, specify packages for C++ development, set them up, and get to developing. Um, so, this is a Lisp code. It's uh, the Lisp flavor that uh, powers Emacs. Um, so only with this uh, small um, uh, snippet here, basically you have a package manager that will uh, uh, install, update, and synchronize your packages um, uh, whenever you uh, open your editor, whenever you open your computer, if you run Emacs as a server, which is what you should be doing. Um, and also when you transfer your uh, setup to a new computer. It has various commands. This would be the most uh, important one. So you can download packages, install packages, delete or update all the packages. And for a clean Nimax setup, basically you would have something like a, a list of packages and a call to synchronize um, uh, the packages. So whenever it would, um, if it's a new computer and it reads this uh, setup, it would contact uh, probably GitHub, download all of these uh, packages, build them if uh, there is a make file, and um, load them uh, into your Emacs load path. So, but what what uh, is required for C++ development? Uh, people will tell you different things. Uh, old uh, older developers would go with uh, Emacs default, which is seded. I would uh, suggest um, packages that, through my own experience, have become um, very useful uh, over the years of development, and that is R-tags, 
um, autocomplete flight second projectile. And one that, uh, uh, yeah, seamless advertising, Malinka is a package that I have made, which is a small um, uh, package that acts as glue between um, the other ones. So, uh, Malinka, the only thing that it does is create um, uh, project definitions. And um, so this is a project definition for Ethereum, basically. Um, it feeds the data to all the other packages, so um, uh, to tags uh, creators or to syntax checkers, because um, we may need to, we, we will need to know the include directories of the project, uh, the macros, uh, the defines that are used, uh, etc. And also, we have um, like uh, compile command, so that we need to compile the project, test command to easily run the tests. Um, yeah, Artax. So this this is an amazing package that's quite new. It uh, interfaces with Clang. It's actually not um, Elisp code. It's it's a native code. It's uh, made in C plus plus eleven, and it creates a client server um, that um, creates a it's a I mean it's a client server um, interface that has a daemon running in the background of your um, uh, uh, of your operating system and creates a memory database of all the tags of your project. For CPP Ethereum, because we have one big make file that makes the whole thing, it's over two gigabytes, um, which is quite a bit. Uh, but it's uh, very fast once the database is created. It, you can uh, find the references of um, your uh, uh, of functions uh, where they are used, you can get auto completion, and you can get um, what is uh, called in Clang um, as fixed hints. So, in a bit more detail, now I'm pretty sure that yeah, the resolution is not so nice. But so there is a function, and you would like to see where it's used. You um, you can just Basically, with one key combo, see all the references very easily and jump around uh, the references. Uh, auto completion, for example, this is from our um, uh, P2P library in C. Uh, there is a. Can you go? Seat. There is a, a boost uh, basic resolver, basically, from the ASIO library of boost. And um, just by typing um, uh, R, you, you see the type, and you get the auto-completed uh, functions. And this happens uh, without any delay, like it happens in other uh, um, inferior, let's say, Emacs packages. Uh, and a very nice, uh, it's too small. A very nice uh, thing that Silang has is fixes. So it kind of it, it runs a, a, it, in real time. It runs a checker on your code that um, uh, does static analysis and provides hints. So, for example, here this is from the scanner of Solidity, and there is the the location is valid uh, method, but um, it's uh, misspelled, and um, the Silang uh, static checker actually um, realizes that, tells you that it's misspelled, and it gives you a suggestion as to how to fix it, um, which you can uh, apply immediately with uh, basically this key combo, which is the default, uh, but you can customize it. Um, Another very useful package is FlyCheck that basically runs syntax checkers for any language that you may desire, Python, Lisp, uh, C++. For C++, it uses uh, the Clang syntax checker. Um, uh, least but, last but not least, uh, Projectile is a must-have um, um, package for uh, an Emacs development environment because 
it uh, automatically uh, indexes and creates projects by using the version control system. So I don't really need to say that, uh, you know, CPP Ethereum is a project. I don't need to index any files, I don't need to do anything. Um, all I need to do is remember some key combinations <laughs> and um, I can easily switch between header and sources, compile the project, test it, grep or ACK or AG or whatever you have. Uh, you can also do uh, version control commits um, and um, various other interesting stuff. I would refer you to the um, documentation of the, of the project if you want to learn more. So, that's about C++, but um, what about Ethereum? Uh, so how can we develop contracts inside um, uh, Emacs? That's, I mean, Solidity is still under development. Um, uh, someone uh, from the forums of uh, Ethereum actually developed a Serpent mode, which you can get here. But uh, as for Solidity, um, over the weekend I made the Solidity mode in Emacs, which is, for now, uh, just the syntax um, uh, highlighter, which you can see here and an indentation, um, so it properly indents and highlights the syntax of uh, Solidity. Uh, this is the, um, the contract that I think uh, Chris used uh, in his example of uh, online uh, Solidity compiler, right? The Balut contract. So, as I said, for now it is very simple, just highlighting an indentation. Uh, but, in the future, we can uh, provide auto-completion just like any other uh, language. As soon as we get the AST uh, out of uh, the Solidity compiler, we can feed it as uh, input data to any auto-complete package in Emacs. Uh, we can also integrate with the debugger uh, when that's possible. And also with other tools that will be developed um, for, the, uh, for the ID for uh, Solidity. So, yeah. That's it. Uh, as I said, a small presentation for Emacs. So, <laughs> any questions or... Um... <laughs> I think you're doing something in VI as well. Hmm? I think you're doing something in the eye. No, I don't even know the key <laughs> bindings in the eye. So, no questions? Okay, uh, thanks.